Last year here, I had the privilege of showing you a preview of Windows Phone 7. And in Windows Phone 7, we really think about speech newly as not just a seamless combination of modalities, not just combining speech and touch, but really about having a better design. And that really is a key part of natural user interface, especially when you have devices with limited real estate, real limited screen sizes. Those devices, though, also have a lot of interesting capabilities. Those devices have sensors like location, HD cameras, more sensors in the future like RFID. So we as an industry, we think we can do better at using that device and those sensors than just having a list grid of, of applications that sort of reminds me personally of Windows 3.1. With Windows Phone 7, we went back to the drawing board and thought about a phone UI that would be structured around the user and around the information and tasks that they want to do. To enable that kind of user experience, we wanted to have the phone connect to all of the online services that users have and really bring the power of the cloud to the phone and enable really flexible new ways to for people to communicate with their social network and friends. Now, just seven months after the release of Windows Phone 7, we are about to introduce a major upgrade that we call Mango. Windows Phone Mango has actually already released to manufacturing. It's getting amazing reviews. I was just reading several uh, articles. I won't even mention the headlines because it'll sound like I'm just bragging. And it, this release will be available to all existing Windows Phone handsets in the fall for free, and it'll come pre-installed on a really exciting new lineup of hardware that's coming out later this year. Now, there's over 500 new features in Windows Phone Mango, and I've been using it for the last several months, so I'm uh, honestly having the best experience I've ever had with a phone, and I'm pretty enthused about it. So I apologize ahead of time if I kind of go on and on. I obviously don't have time to show you all 500 features, but I want to take a few minutes to show you some of the new features really focused around some of the tasks that I want to do on a phone, and many of you may as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next release of Windows Phone, Codename Mango. What you see here is a new HTC device. It's a very lightweight, very slim device. Uh, this is actually a world phone, so it actually works on GSM and CDMA networks, or in the US, the ATT t T-Mobile merger network, as well as Verizon. And it has a really gorgeous screen. You can see that this is my phone because my wallpaper is uh, a wedding photo from my wife and I. Uh, so I'm going to ask all of you to just ignore the uh, security code. I mean, imagine you didn't see that. <laughs> and I hope I don't lose my phone later. And here you see the Windows different approach that instead of application icons, focuses on what we call live tiles and hubs. Live tiles quickly show you the information you need at a glance. So I can see things like contacts across all the social services who recently posted, or traffic in Seattle, which if you live in Seattle is pretty important, or the latest pictures, or even the status of my flight tomorrow, and as soon as a gate is assigned, that will show right on the live tile. These tiles connect to hubs, which pull together information, as I said, from a variety of social services. In Windows Phone, we were able to integrate Windows Live, Facebook, and Outlook. And with Windows Phone Mango, we also add LinkedIn and Twitter. So here I'm showing you the Me Hub. This pulls in all the information about me from all of those sources and shows me my re most recent posting. So my wife actually uh, did a quick posting of our adorable dogs on Facebook. That's not the cutest dog you've ever seen. I don't know what it is. Um, this will also show me the notifications I care about across all those services and all the new postings for my contacts, again, across all those new services. This also enables me to post a message or to check in at a location. And what I really want to do is have a great dinner tonight. Once this keynote's over, my work is done, I want to have a great dinner with some of my coworkers. So I'll start that by checking in and telling the people I care about that I'm actually here. So I'll go ahead and select the Hilton New York. Oops. And I'll do a quick message like, um, anyone know any good restaurants? So you can 
probably tell that uh, I'm still learning how to type on a screen by how slow I was going. And so what this will do is check in on the services that I've marked. So it'll check in on Facebook, Windows Live, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And I can select to check in on just a subset of those services or on all of them at the same time. So now that I've gone on and told people I'm here and I'm looking for good restaurants, I want to find out which of my coworkers are interested in having dinner with me, if I'm lucky. So I'll do that by going to my people hub. It gives me a combined view of all the people I care about. But I don't have to navigate using touch. I can just use my voice. Start people. Starting people. So anytime from anywhere within Windows Phone, I can hold down the Windows button and activate the voice control, which I can use to start applications, call or text my contacts, uh, and also to find information. So here I have my people hub. This shows me all my contacts and their postings. One new feature in Mango that I don't have time to show you is groups. So I can actually pull together all the contacts for my family. So my wife, my in-laws, my cousins, and just see their postings or send them one text all at once as a group or one message. In my recent contacts, I see one of my coworkers, Adam. So I'm gonna go ahead and click his tile and I can quickly see that he's in town because he posted uh, a picture from Times Square last night. I can see his other postings. Looks like he took a video uh, for one of his friends in Times Square. I can see his pictures. And I can see his complete history of interaction with me all in one place. Now this includes messaging, emails, and even voicemail. Email, by the way, also, I don't have time to show you, it has some great new features in Windows Phone Mango. One is that you can now view protected email right on the phone. That's a great work productivity feature. You also can see mails in conversation view, just like in Outlook on the desktop. And last but certainly not least, we enable you to combine inboxes. And unlike other phones, it's not an all or nothing proposition. So here, I've combined Hotmail and my home ISP email in a personal inbox and I have a work inbox for my Outlook email. So I can look at all these emails, but it looks like he's tried to call me a couple of times and left me a voicemail. And if I just click on that voicemail, another great new improvement is the visual voicemail functionality. So without having to dial into a number, I can just click on his voicemail and listen to it. So it sounds like Abi really wants to grab dinner with me. He's tried to call me a couple times. He's left me a voicemail. Let me see if he's available online and see what kind of food he wants to grab. Start messaging. Starting messaging. This will take me to the messaging hub. In messaging, we go far beyond just text messages. We actually combine text and online messaging. So just by setting the status of online, I can see all my friends on Windows Live Messenger and Facebook, and they can send texts to me. And so we can see Avi is actually available. But I can also see all the threads I've had with them. So here for Avi, we have a thread that started as a text message and switched to Facebook, and that's combined as one conversation. And just by hitting the switch button, I can then switch that to either Facebook or back to text or Messenger. So I see that he's available on Facebook. Let me go ahead and leave him a message, but I don't want to make you suffer through me typing again. So, Save your message. how about sushi? So this is using the Microsoft Tell Me Cloud service for short message dictation. I'm being a little mean because Avi's a vegetarian, so I'm hoping he'll humor me with veggie sushi. So we'll send this message to him and see what he says. Now, while we're waiting for him to get back to me, I'll go ahead and actually see if I can find a sushi restaurant around me that would be good. Find sushi restaurants. So this is bringing the power of the cloud to the phone. Not only do we have a great browser, with Windows Phone Mango we have IE9 on the phone, but we also bring the kinds of web information you need in a more useful way to the phone. 
So I used Bing to search for sushi restaurants, and instead of just getting a list of blue links, it used my location to show me restaurants around me. And if I click on that restaurant, it shows you something new that we call a quick card. Quick cards combine all the information you need to make a decision in one view. We have quick cards for movies, shopping, and restaurants. So here, I can see the restaurant's hours, website, I can click directions, and in Mango, we have turn-by-turn -turn voice prompt directions now enabled. I can even get an indoor map, because Bluefin is inside a mall. I can see reviews from various sources. I can even see upcoming events and see that they've got a barbecue coming up. So this looks like a great choice for a restaurant, and I want to let Abu know about it. I don't have to send another message. I can just share that restaurant with one button via messaging, and I see all the places where I can get a hold of Abby. I'll keep going with Facebook chat, and I'll send them the um, website for the restaurant and its location. So hopefully now Abby has all the information he needs to let me know if he can make a sushi dinner happen. While we wait for him to reply, there's one more area that I wanted to highlight for you, and that's the kind of rich applications we have available. If I go back to the start and show you our new application list, you see the new jump uh, list experience that we have for applications. With over 25,000 apps available in the phone marketplace, many of us will have a lot of applications installed. And once you have over 45 applications, we get this handy alphabetic list that lets me quickly get to what I'm looking for. In this case, let's go into music and video. Now, another great area where we've enhanced Windows Phone Mango is the hands-free media experience. If you're like me, uh, you may use your Windows phone when working out. I do this a lot. I watch recorded TV on my phone, and then I listen to music while I'm doing weights. In either of those cases, I really don't want to have to use my sweaty fingers to do a lot of navigation. I want to really have the phone give me the simplest way possible of navigating that medium. So let me go ahead and play a song for you, and I'll lock the device. Now once I do this, if I come back, not only does it pull up the cover art for the song, but it gives me this handy one-hand navigation panel where I can pause the song, restart it, or move to the next song. And it looks like I'll be got back to us. Message from Will. Abby, you can say read it or ignore. Read it. Sure, that works. How about seven? You can say reply, call, or I'm done. Reply. Sounds great, see you there. Sounds great, see you there. You can say send or try again. Send. So there you go, without ever touching my phone, if I was working on an elliptical machine, I was able to see that Avi sent me a message, have my phone read it to me and reply, all with the power of my voice. And just to show you that that was completely live, Avi's actually right at the side of the room, and we can see a screen and all of the Facebook chat interactions right on the screen. So totally live demo and really an experience that we think shows the power of a well-designed speech NUI on this kind of mobile device. Now as we look forward and say how can we take this kind of experience to the next level, I want to stay for a minute with this idea of using the device to help me get together for dinner with a friend. In this case, we sent a message and the device was able to recognize my voice and translate that into text. But if we really break that message down, we should be able to see my intent, which is getting a dinner organized, the context, who I am, who Abby is, and in the cloud be able to access our calendars. The fact that we're connected in Facebook means that when I say Abby, I probably mean Abby Relic. And the fact that Windows Phone Mango has deep integration for applications like OpenTable enables us to deep link and quickly make a reservation for Bluefin because that's what I want the device to do. So as we move from focusing on recognition to really working on conversational understanding, we see a future, a vision where the next generation of experiences will really be focused on not just recognizing a command, 
but helping us quickly do the activity, the task that we're trying to do. This morning, uh, Zig Serafin, our GM, posted a blog post online about Speech Newly and our future vision. And as part of that, we posted a video that really tries to take a future view and illustrate a little bit more of this vision, not on any product roadmap, but to give you a sense of how we see these experiences evolving. So let me go ahead and play this short video for you. today for the living room, the phone, and business customer care, and moving forward, how we get to the experiences that you saw earlier in our vision video, how we start to understand identity, context, and intent, and enable speech to be used to bridge language barriers, to complete the activities we want to do in a much more fat, uh, quick and natural way, and to really fundamentally change how the next generation, how our children view the role of technology moving forward. That's our vision with Microsoft Tell Me, to improve everyday life for all of us and the next generation with speech. 